Hello and welcome to another video from Love Lawns. I'm Kai and this is the Palenque Razion 2 commercial battery powered lawnmower. Does this lawnmower live up to its commercial name? Let's take a look together and find out. Starting from the top, you have this very quick and easily adjustable foldable handle which you can change to suit your height and preferences by simply pulling out the quick release adjuster. This also makes it very easy to fold the handle down for storage and transportation. Here we have the self-propelled lever which works really well. There is no lag or delay when you engage and release the silent brushless motors with the direct drive. As soon as you let go of the switch, you can pull the mower back and forward with no wait time for the motors to disengage. Unlike some of the other battery mowers which take a second or two before you are free to pull the mower backwards, this one is free all the time. So this top button adjusts the self-propelled speed. Uh, this secondary button down here adjusts the dual counter rotating steel blades and it adjusts it from 3000 RPM all the way up to 5000 RPM and you just press the buttons to, en to engage the different speed settings. 5000 RPM is really the speed you need to be at given the smaller blade sizes to allow enough uplift to pull the grass up to the best for the best quality cut, catch and mulching capabilities. As you can see the mower is equipped with a dual synchronized blade system and you can choose between a mulching blade and a standard high lift blade. The current blades on this mower are the, um, the mulching blades which have held up really well over the past couple of weeks of solid use. I'd probably recommend changing these once a month and sharpen them in between for the best results. Speaking of cut quality, this mower has a fantastic cut quality and I've really enjoyed using it as a direct replacement for my Honda HRU216 commercial mower over the past couple of weeks. I find it catches and mulches the grass nearly as well as the Honda, which is a pretty big deal for a battery mower, as most of them don't even come close to the good quality top of the range petrol mower. With 1600 watts of power and a dual blade cutting width of 60 centimeters, it's really impressive and a standout in the Palenque battery powered range of garden tools currently on offer. Just to see, so you can get an idea of how thick that actually is. That's pretty long, thick and wet. It's going through it, no worries. Well, it's cutting amazingly well, and it fills the bag. <coughs> that, it's jammed in there. Like that grass was long, or is long. I'm going to get the Honda out and see how it compares. <laughs> I haven't really got time to be honest, but for you guys, we'll do anything. We'll do the back in a minute. It's a bloody mess, I'll tell you that. Nothing we can't sort out there. So let's just do a strip down here and see how it compares to the Honda.
Honda definitely does do a slightly better cut. I don't know if it's a better cut in that long stuff, it just cuts it. Yeah, I guess it does cut it a bit better. I think, anyway. Let's try this one. It was actually a freshly laid lawn not so long ago. It wasn't watered, it wasn't mowed for weeks and weeks. So a lot of it's dead. Some of it's grown about a foot long. to this. Full. The bag's pretty full. So moving along down the mower, you have the battery and the battery cradle and cable attachment, which again is a simple but effective design. Like the rest of the mower, it works really well. And you can tell that some thought's gone into it when they designed it. With a simple one button quick release switch and cable, you can easily remove and replace the battery. However, the run times I've been getting with these larger Palenque batteries is amazing. And you won't really need to change the battery too often. Literally all day. Still got. Can see that? Seventy-nine percent battery left. That's amazing. I must have used it on about twelve properties today. Sort of slightly big, some small, some slopey like this one. So that's awesome. And it's doing this slope, no worries. The self-propelled works a treat. I thought these zero-turn wheels would be a bit of an issue on the slope but um, they're great. You can lock them out if you need to, but I've not needed to. Just whizzes along. Good old raisin. I can easily get through a whole day of mowing around 12 to 15 regularly maintained average size properties, some with thicker grass and a few slopes, some larger flat areas, and still have 50% battery remaining, which is awesome. Just like the upcoming Still RMA 675V, being able to carry these larger backpack style batteries is the only way to go with the mowers as you need the higher capacity to get the run times, especially in a commercial environment where you're using it all the time. The official figures are something like five hours run time or around 5,400 meters squared area, which in real time everyday use equates to nearly two days for us when doing maintenance visits. 
it obviously uses more when you hit the longer or thicker stuff but even so that's amazing this lever out the front here is how you adjust the height of cut which adjusts the deck height rather than the wheels which i think is a genius idea and works really well nobody wants to be adjusting four wheels independently to get the correct height when you have to change them about 30 times a day it's a bit of a nightmare this also acts as a parking brake when you go completely up the grass is super long here but when you go completely up it pushes the deck into the floor and it locks it out as a brake so when it's in the trailer it doesn't move around or the back of a van which is also very good my only suggestion or improvement i think they could make on this particular lever is to have it at the other end of the mower somehow so you don't have to walk all the way around every time you want to adjust this and i say walk all the way around that sounds a bit silly because it's only a couple of feet but if you're in a small corridor um, you know a small bit of grass and you can't actually get around the mower sometimes to reach this which does get a little bit annoying the only other suggestion i would make is a couple more settings in between the current six height settings just so you have a bit more control over the height of cut currently it goes from 25 mil up to 75 mil with six positions 25 35 45 55 65 and 75 mils it would be good to have eight more like the honda but to be honest i'm being a bit picky it still works really well and i find generally i use it in the 45 and 35 range for 99 percent of my lawns and it cuts beautifully in those settings front wheels are a zero turn style wheel which means they move freely 360 degrees which makes maneuvering this mower a breeze and you don't even get any scuffing and tearing on the grass when you're turning as you can sometimes get with the more traditional style self-propelled mowers if you want a more traditional style feel you can actually lock out the front wheels so they stay aligned forwards Let's see if i can spin these around just twist that that way and then when that's in the position it's locked so you get a more traditional sort of style feel then and the wheels will stay aligned forward but I've not found a need for this to be honest. The wheels have a slight click to hold them in the forward position when you're going straight, but then they freely move when you want to turn. So it sort of has a groove in here. So it holds them straight, but then as soon as you want to turn, it's very easy to maneuver it around. Like so. So just as a bit of a comparison, I'll get the Husqvarna battery powered mower out. This is the, um, what is it called? The catchy. LC347VLI. Catchy name that one. We'll get this out and we'll give it a blast, see how it compares to the cut quality of this one. One of the great things about this as well is it's all metal and the Husqvarna is all plastic, which isn't so great. I'm not sure how long this door would last. It hasn't broke on me yet, mind, but two batteries in there. Anyway, let's see how that cuts compared to the pulling. Stick you back on the tripod. It does cut all right once it gets going, but bloody slow. Honestly, as far as battery-powered lawnmowers go, there isn't really any comparison between these two. You can just listen to that. Let's get this out of the way, and you can. When you go with this, all right. It's 
gone. And that's not on the fastest setting. So you press the button, it's gone. It stops, perfect. With this one, you pull it in. And finally, you're up to speed. Pull it in. Now you're up to speed. That's literally two seconds before it does anything, really. Three seconds. It's rubbish, if I'm honest. Sorry, Husky. Um, cut quality on this is much better. Everything about it is better than that, basically. But this is a review on this, and not a review on that. So that we'll leave that as it is. And just know that this is a far superior machine to that one, but it's about three times the price, so that's what you'd expect. But um, yeah, it's hard to see in the videos how good the um, cut quality is, but I've been really impressed with it. And I'm pretty fussy, as most lawnies are, I guess, about the quality of the cuts. You can't, it's very hard to tell in the video, but it is really nice. It's a really nice cut quality. Twin blades, twin bar blades make a difference. It's, um, let's go over here. Yeah, really good. It's an impressive mower. I really like it. Moving around to the rear wheels. These are large, very large in fact, and they offer plenty of grip. And the whole mower is just shy of about 30 kilograms. So, you know, it doesn't leave the usual tire tracks that you get from most heavier petrol mowers, even in damp grass. And the grass catcher is a 70 litre Dacron style bag, similar to the Honda. It fills and empties really well. The other improvement I think they could make is to fix the plastic clips. They need to be more sturdy and the, the ones that connect the bag to the frame of the bag, uh, they just come away all the time and it gets quite annoying over time. And to be honest, I'm not sure how well this bag would last over time. It's, um, it's not built as durably as say the Honda, for example, but um, yeah, time will tell, I guess. It also comes with this mulch plug, which connects into the mower very easily. It's a shame you can't mount the bag on the mower at the same time, so you can do those jobs that you need to look like you're mowing, uh, look like you're catching, but it's actually better to mulch. Some customers um, like you to catch every single time, but actually it's good for the grass to mulch it. But um, yeah, so you need to kind of camouflage that, but you can't do that with this one. The body itself is an all metal aluminium design, as is the cutting deck and feels sturdy and lightweight at the same time. It's also IP54 rated waterproof, which means you can work in any weather. Although I wouldn't recommend mowing in the rain as it's no good for the grass, but the mower can handle it if you get caught out. Much better than the plastic battery mowers I've previously tested. It hasn't got anything it doesn't need, and there's just the right amount of stuff that it does to make this easily one of the best battery powered mowers currently available in my opinion. So the price for this mower is 2,500 Australian dollars plus GST, and you also need one of the two available larger batteries, either the ULB 1200, which is a 1,221 watt hour battery, and costs $1,760 plus GST, or you'll need the ULB 1500, which I have here, and this is a 1,527 watt hour battery, and will set you back a cool $2,385 plus GST, which is no small investment. You'll also need a charger, which is around 250, and uh, that brings the total up to about 5,135 for this setup here, plus GST. Well, that's a considerable investment, which, whichever way you look at it, to be honest, and you know what are you getting for that investment? Well. Really, you're getting a mower that is at the top of the innovation market and offers the best currently available in terms of battery-powered lawnmowers. You also get the best commercial warranty on the market, coming as standard with two years, and for an extra $85, you can extend this out to three years, which for a commercial tool is awesome. No other manufacturer on the market offers this, I don't think, um, which is peace of mind for your tools. You know, most others offer one year with no, no option to extend it, so, I mean, Palenka standing by their gear with that, no doubt. Uh, you also get a far superior user experience, to be honest, with exceptionally low vibrations, no noise, no fumes, no petrol, much easier to handle and move around, no engine maintenance, such as spark plugs, air filters and oil changes every couple of weeks. And it's just much better for the environment, isn't it? And the nature and the people we share it with, to be honest. You know, it's, um, it allows you to start earlier, work quieter in places such as schools, hospitals and public spaces where noise, it does matter, you know, it makes a difference. What would be the downsides? Well, to be honest, the initial outlay cost, which is substantial, 
it's a lot of money but I think over the course of its life you'll end up saving much more than you spend and benefiting from everything I just mentioned. You know, another possible downside is you may still need to carry the trusty petrol mower for some of the longer thicker stuff you encounter from time to time but then you know use this for all your regular maintenance work which makes the day so much more enjoyable. So as you can probably tell I'm very enthusiastic about this mower. As someone that spends all day every day pushing a mower around for my work I've really enjoyed the experience and the results I get from this mower, favouring this mower over my Hondas 98% of the time. I'd like to thank Palenque and particularly Troy from Palenque, Queensland for giving me the opportunity to try out this mower. I've been really impressed. This out of all the Palenque tools is my personal favourite. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that competition for the other tools are very similar. But this mower is unique, it stands out, I like that. This video is one of several that will be coming out over the next few weeks looking at most of the Palenque battery tools so if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the other uploads. Also let me know your thoughts in the comments section and if you have any questions I'll do my best to answer them. Finally thank you for your time I really appreciate you stopping by and supporting the channel. I hope this has brought some value to your life in some small way and I look forward to sharing more videos with you all in the future. See you on the next one. Cheers. That's my buffalo lawn cut on, what are we on? The highest setting, 75 mils. <laughs> but it's only been late recently, so I'm still cutting it super high, although that is a bit too high. I can go down a bit on that. But I don't know if you can tell the cut quality there, but it's really nice.